Alrighty, everybody, welcome. <laughs> this is take two. So I actually recorded this video earlier, and when I was done talking to myself for 15 minutes, I checked, and I didn't hit record on my screen. So this is take two on how I make flashcards and how I like to make flashcards. Um, Merry Christmas to everybody. If you guys celebrate Christmas or happy holidays, I hope you all are having a really good break and being able to spend time with your family. I'm gonna show you guys, I got this nice little gift. So I, I had ordered this EKG thing online a while ago and I asked my mom if she could laminate it because she works at a school and I totally forgot about it. And then during Christmas, <laughs> They gave it to me and they put a nice little frame around it so I'm trying to figure out how I can have that in the background still but uh, that's one of my favorite gifts. I got a bunch of spices and uh, oh, I want to show you guys my new little setup so you guys know my desk kind of. So I put a fish tank here next to me. Um, check out my new fish and I got another beta over there. Sorry you guys can see a little ring light in the way. Um, so yeah, let's get into this while well, I may fix this. So let's get into it. So I made a quick little Anki deck so I can show you guys two different kinds of flashcards that I like to use. And I'm just going to go ahead and get right into it. Uh, remember that these, this method doesn't work for everybody. It's not like the end all be all. Um, this is what I have found really effective for me. I have actually found some really ineffective cards that I have downloaded in those pre-made Zonky step decks, but I keep them nonetheless because they're little factoid cards, and yes, it has to be specific to what that person was thinking at the time that they were trying to remember, but I still keep them just because it's just another thing to see, but I don't pay too much attention uh, if I don't exactly know what the card is, but if I have a good idea, I just skip it, I just let it go forward because... Uh, those little factoid things are usually gaps in somebody else's knowledge, so that's why you need to make those flashcards for yourself. <sighs> but let's get started. So, this YouTube tutorial. So, okay, so this is a really good card. So, blank cellular injury is characterized ultra structurally with clumping of nuclear chromatin. So, this, I like this that it tests uh, a few things. So, it tests what, during what cellular injury process does clumping of nuclear chromatin occur and this is during reversible cellular injury so you are you have to understand in this card that it's a cellular injury process is this reversible or irreversible and what happens to the chromatin during reversible cellular injury so you're testing all those things in one flashcard um, this flashcard is a fairly light one I would call it and also this flashcard, whenever you hit enter, I think it's extremely important to have an explanation beneath it uh, as well as more information uh, regarding the other things that happen during reversible cellular injury, even if it doesn't, even if it's not about nuclear chromatin. So on this one, we see that ribosomal polysomal detachment also occurs, so that causes a decreased protein synthesis. You see membrane blebbing occurs in reversible cellular injury, and then of course the activity of ATP um, pumps decrease, the activity of sodium, potassium, and calcium pumps decrease, so potassium decreases. And then you also have irreversible cellular injury over here. So this card actually shows up multiple times whenever I, uh, I'm going through my Anki, Anki just my daily Anki. So every once in a while, I'll see this splash card that has to do with cellular mitochondrial swelling, the ribosomal detachment, the membrane blebbing, etc. But then I also have all these on irreversible cell damage and what happens when calcium leaks into the cell whenever there's mitochondrial permeability, vacuolization. And then, so this is testing multiple things all at once, but the card in itself is testing one specific idea on nuclear chromatin. So this is a fairly simple card. I really like it. And then I also have another example on, yeah, this is perfect. So this card actually tests eight different ideas all on one card. So this is actually testing you on the causes of osteonecrosis. Uh, it gives you a mnemonic, which really helps certain people. For me, this mnemonic doesn't help too much. I don't 
ever find myself thinking cast bent legs whenever I get a question on osteonecrosis. Um, but nonetheless, it's there. It's better if you make your own. This was not my mnemonic, so that's probably why I don't remember it. But they do help if you can make your own. Uh, the more inappropriate is usually better, and that sticks with you better. I actually, actually find myself using Spanish a lot whenever I'm doing my own mnemonics. Um, I say things and they make a good mnemonic in Spanish, or the word fits really good in some Spanish form. So I do that for a few things. Um, but on this one, so there's eight ideas. The cause of osteonecrosis. So corticosteroids is that blank one. Alcoholism, sickle cell, trauma, Benz, Kaisan disease, leg calperthes, Goucher, and slip capital femoral epiphysis. So it's corticosteroids, I know that. So what I, whenever I hit enter, you guys can see that I have a lot of information down below on all of these. I don't have it for corticosteroids, but it also includes other causes of vasculitis. Um, so it tells me corticosteroids suppress osteoblast function and stimulus osteoclast function. It showed me why, uh, so sickle cell disease can clot the femoral, the medial femoral circumflex artery. Uh, it doesn't have an explanation for alcohol, but it has all these explanations, and then I always, I usually like to have a diagram. I feel like, uh, you know, a lot of people think they're visual learners. Uh, not everybody is, even though they think it is, but it certainly helps me. Uh, so I always have a nice little diagram down here, and it shows me the watershed zone that's infarcted, the medial circumflex artery, um, and then the lateral femoral circumflex artery. So whenever you have a idea like in this case osteonecrosis and there's multiple so this one i'm getting tested on eight kind of so i'm getting tested on one but i can look at all eight right now so whenever i get this question and the a is blank but i've already seen the corticosteroids then you know it's alcoholism so these cards the initial learning curve is really high but then once you once you understand it then you can get all eight really fast whenever you see the card over again if for some reason you feel like you're weak on what one of these causes is, you can read about it just down here below. You can look at a figure, um, and if you don't, then you can just blow through these. But whenever you're, you think you're weak on one, then you can just study up on it real quick. And then there's another, it doesn't actually ask. These are all causes of what? Um, and then osteonecrosis. Uh, this probably is unnecessary, but it's there nonetheless. Um, the more cards you see, the different ways you see it um, is a lot better. And then here is that card again. Versible cellular injury. We've seen these. Let me see. I had the other one also. So I just finished it. Um, so that's basically my how I like to do my Anki cards, guys. So one, I always have a diagram, an explanation, and you test multiple things all in one video are all in one card so that um, you you just get you just maximize a lot of it because sometimes uh, whenever there is a topic or idea there are a lot of um, how can I say this there's a lot of details that go with that so if there's details you do remember and there's one detail you don't remember then put all the details you do remember and then the detail you don't remember blank that out so that these are all act as a primer into that one that you're having trouble with and you don't need to be tested on all those other ideas if you already know them uh, this is really effective for like little details and stuff that you don't understand quite well and hit enter so that's basically how i make these flashcards, guys um, if you have any questions just leave a comment down below i'm also going to show you guys a screenshot of the add-ons i use Basically, my favorite add-on, and it came out very recently, and no, they're not sponsoring this video, and I wish they do, they would, um, it's Amboss. So Amboss, you do have to pay for it, it's actually kind of pricey, um, but whenever you scroll over a, uh, a word or something, then it brings up a quick little review of the, hold on, I'm going to download that real quick actually. Alright guys, so I went ahead and downloaded that Amboss add-on so you guys could see it. I don't usually use do Anki on my PC, but it was just easier to record this video on here. So 
if there is a word that the Amboss add-on recognizes and you have a login and you have a subscription to Amboss, you can scroll over the word LLSB, it tells you what it is. Um, and it's like a quick little summary. If you know it, that's really great. Uh, if you don't know it, then you can go ahead and just click here and it'll pull up their website. Um, you have to log in and stuff, but uh, that's literally what I, I really love the Amboss add-on, honestly. It has been um, actually really amazing because like if I like here whenever I click this hereditary fructose intolerance, I can click on this and just like read on what it is real quick. Um, and then I can move on and I feel pretty good about it. It's like a quick little review. Um, and I've really enjoyed the Amboss add-on. And then the other add-on I really liked is the review heat map. I don't have that on my PC. I'm not gonna download it on here. Um, apparently I was reading through the add-ons and somebody kind of uh, stole it and put it on this add-on page. Uh, so uh, whenever you guys go onto the add-ons on Anki, uh, go to the review heat map and in the comments, um, there's an actual website to download it from, from the maker of it, so it's more ethical. Um, I think I, I still have the beta version from the original because I downloaded it so long ago, but I was reading through the comments, a lot of people are mad that whoever put the review heat map on the add-on page uh, took, um, took it from the person that actually made it. So basically it shows you your reviews for the day, it color codes it, and then it feels really good to see your streak. So I think I'm currently like at a 47 or 48 day streak, and that feels really good. I love to have a streak keep going. I never was a person that liked to check boxes off, but that's kind of, um, that has really helped me honestly. I just wanna get, I just wanna finish a goal. Sometimes in med school, finishing one small goal a day is, feels really good, so that has really helped me just keep doing my Anki every single day and you guys are gonna see the screenshot of my heat map currently off of my PC and then the other add-on I use I think is called Pictionary so basically if you highlight a word on Pictionary it will tell you there how many cards in your deck has that word in it um, and then you can scroll through all those cards I haven't really found it that helpful like I, I honestly have seen it by accident whenever I accidentally highlight something and the add-on pops up um, but that's another one that's there I don't use it so I don't really recommend it but it is gonna show up on my screenshot just so you guys know where that comes from so I hope you guys enjoyed this I hope I hit the record button yes I did and I will see you guys in the next video happy holidays and make sure to subscribe leave a comment down below on what you think any ideas you have any other videos you want um, any suggestions I'm always open to feedback to improve as a student uh, make sure to hit the notification so you know when I do a live stream because I, I like to do live streams so if you want to just come hang out with me one night when I'm studying or just hanging out with you guys hit the notifications and come ask questions on my live stream thanks guys I was ready to surrender my heart to you, only you. These lights all around me keep blinding my eyes from you.